hello guys good day uh, welcome to my channel and today we will uh, solve the problems in engineering mechanics so here is the problems situation a a truss loaded as shown in the figure the figure is here compute the forces in member GD given that P is equal to 300 kilonewtons and Q is equal to 50 kilonewtons. The choices are there A 412.5 kilonewtons, B 135.2 kilonewtons, C 201.91 kilonewtons, D 234.84 kilonewtons. Number two, if forces on member C D is equal to 600 kilonewtons and uh, forces on member G D is equal to 100 kilonewtons, both compression find B. The choices are A. 517 kilonewtons, B, 37 kilonewtons, C, 579 kilonewtons, and D, 572.34 kilonewtons. Number three, if member, force members in CD is equal to 600 kilonewtons and forces on GD is equal to 100 kilonewtons, but in compression, find Q. Choices are A, 579 kilonewtons, B, 5.17 kilonewtons, C, 572.3 kilonewtons, and D is 37 kilonewtons. So let's start. We have to solve these problems. First, you have to calculate the reactions at the reaction at the support, which is the D, which is the roller, the reaction. Let's say, for example, R sub D, and then R sub K. Okay, so by equilibrium, summation of moment is equal to zero, summation of forces horizontal is equal to zero, summation of forces vertical is equal to zero. So we take the summation of moment about K, summation of moment. at k is equal to zero positive clockwise direction okay so what are the positive clockwise direction r sub d so r sub d times the moment arm Ilan ang moment arm ng R sub D, which is 4. Minus the counterclockwise. What are the counterclockwise? The force P times the moment arm 4. minus Q times the moment arm 9 minus the force Q at B Q times the moment arms 6 minus force Q at C times the moment arm of 3 so no more so equal to 0 
by simplifying this equation, we have R sub D is equal to transpose the negative to the right, we have 4P plus 18 18Q divided by 4 which is equal to P plus 4.5Q let's say equation number equation number one so next from the figure shown we have two by method of section the method of section which is comprised of this dust line the upper part of this uh, truss so we will draw the we will draw the the upper part of the truss we have This is J, I, then H, A, B, C, then Q, force Q, force Q, at B, force Q, then force Q, And then the force vertical P. So okay. To get to get the forces on member member C D we have to assume comp Compression, compression force, let's say P, C, D. To get the value of P, C, D, we had to take a moment about J, about J. Summation of moment at J is equal to zero, positive clockwise direction so what are the positive clockwise direction positive clockwise direction here is P sub D so only P sub D so P sub D times the moment arm for minus P times the moment arm of 4 minus the force Q at A times the moment arm of 6 minus the force Q at B times the moment arm of 3 meters is equal to is equal to 0 so 
next we have to simply uh, we have to simplify this so PCD is equal to transpose this P to the right we have 4P plus 9Q divided by 4 so divided by 4 so this is equation 2 equation 2 okay so to get the forces at member GD, we have to by method of joints. By method of joints at D. So the forces acting on D, we have this is D. So the forces acting on D, a joint D we have PCD and we have forces PGD and we have forces force Assuming this is compression or uh, tension, let's say tension P D K, and we have the reaction R so D. So P G D this is a sloping force, so we have this. Uh, This is 3, and this is 2, and this is square root of 13. Okay. So from number one question, we have this. Uh, Compute the forces in member GD given that P is equal to 300 kilonewtons and Q is equal to 50 kilonewtons. Now, using equation 1, using equation 1, using equation Substitute the value of P and Q. Substitute the value of P and Q. So R sub D is equal to This is equal to three three hundred plus four point five times fifty equals five hundred twenty five kilonewtons. Okay. So P sub D, P, uh, forces on members P sub D using equation number 2, using equation 2, using equation 2, we have P 
piece of CD is equal to four times three hundred plus nine times the value of Q is fifty divided by four. Okay. So we have to calculate we have to calculate the So it's equal to four times three hundred plus nine times fifty divided by four. So we have four hundred twelve point five kilo newtons. The value of the force at member CD. Using this figure, using this figure, summation of uh, P, since PC, PCD and R sub D are known, we can calculate the forces force on member GD. So by summation of forces vertical, positive upward direction positive so what are the positive on upward direction we have r sub d so r sub d only is the positive direction we have the downward direction which is the forces on mem forces on member cd P C of D then minus the vertical component of P G D we have the vertical component of P P G D we have P G D times the vertical component three divided by the square root of 13 so equal to 0 since the values of R sub D has known value which is 525 then the value of P sub D is 412.5 we can calculate this force on member PGD so we have to substitute the value of P sub C D and the R sub D. We have R sub D 525 minus 412.5 minus for a member GD square root of I'm sorry 3 divided by the square root of 13 so equal to 0 transpose the constant term to the right okay PGD is equal to So this is minus, so we have 525, so transpose this 525 to the right, we have minus 525, transpose this 412.5 becomes positive, 
412.5 so multiply this by the square root of 13 divided by 3 multiply both sides by negative we have PGD PGD is equal to four hundred twelve point five minus five hundred twenty five so multiply both sides by negative becomes positive so square root of thirteen divided by three times one hundred twelve point five so the value of P GD is equal to one one two point five times the square root of thirteen is equal divided by three. So one hundred thirty five point two zero eight kilonewton. So this is the answer for the number one. So the number one from the choices we have. So 135.2008 that is letter that is letter B. So since you have the correct answer, so you have to shape now in the answer sheet during the board exam okay so next question number two to find the value of p if p forces on member cd is equal to 600 and uh force on the member gd is equal to 100 both compressions find p okay so we have to draw again a joint D a joint D so this is D so P or PCD is equal to we have 600 600 kilonewtons and force at member GD we have assuming uh, since both compression so P GD is equal to 100 is equal to 100 kilo newton so now we have the R's of D the R's of D so Using equation, using equation one, using equation one, substitute, substitute the value of Ah, sorry so summation of force summation of force 
vertical is equal to zero positive upward direction we have r sub t minus 600 minus minus the vertical component of members members gd we have 100 times we have these three two square root of 13 so the vertical component is 3 over the square root of 13 is equal to 0. So R sub D R sub D is equal to simplify this we have R sub D 100 we have 600 so we have to calculate this 100 300 divided by the square root of 13 equals plus 600 so we have the value of 683.205 kilonewton since a question number two, pinapahanap yung uh, force P. So using equation one, using equation one, we have, using equation one, we have R sub D. So equation one, we have P plus 4.5 Q is equal to 683.205 kilonewtons. So, this is equation number, let's say equation number 3. Equation number 3. So next, since this equation has two unknowns, P and Q, so two unknowns with two equations. So we will uh, see what equation is the we can get. So using equation, using equation, Using equation 2, using equation 2, so using equation 2, apply the value of PCD of 600 kilonewton apply the value of pcd of 600 kilonewton to equation number two so 600 pc piece of d 600 is equal to Four V plus nine Q divided by four. Simplify, simplify this. We have four P.
plus 9q is equal to 4 times 600 24 0 0 okay so this so we have to simplify this and q is equal to Two thousand four hundred minus transpose this four p to the right minus four p divided by nine. This is equation number equation number Equation number four, let's say equation number four. So equation number four. So using equation number three and four, we have to substitute the value of Q to equation number three. So equation number three so now using equation number three and equation number four substitute the value of Q into equation number three so we have we have P plus 4.5 Q the value of Q which is two thousand four hundred minus four P divided by nine is equal to 683.205 so so this equation is uh, one one unknown so in terms of P so simplify this we have P plus 4.5 times 2400 equals divided by 9 1200 minus 4.5 times 4 equals divided by 9 2 2p equal to 683.205 so transpose the constant term to the right and then uh, collect these two terms in, in terms of P we have minus minus P is equal to Six hundred eighty three point two zero five minus one thousand two hundred. So multiply both sides by negative. We have P is equal to six hundred uh, one thousand two hundred minus six hundred eighty three point two zero five. So the value is 516.792 kilonewtons. So this is the answer for question number 2. So
which value is nearest to the choices we have nearest to the choices nearest to the choices is letter a 517 kilo newtons 517 kilo newtons 517 kilo newtons for question number three, we have to find Q. So using the equation, using equation, equation number four, using equation number four, we can calculate the value of Q. We can calculate the value of Q using the value of P is equal to 516.792. So Q is equal to 2,400 minus 4 times the value of P. Five hundred sixteen point seven ninety two divided by nine. So the value of Q using your calculator, we have two thousand four hundred two thousand four hundred minus four times five one six point seven ninety two equals divided by 9 so the value of 36 36 point nine eight one kilo newtons so this is the answer for number three so in the choices the correct answer in the choices is letter D. This is letter D. And this P, 516.792. For question number two, we have letter A. And for number one, we have letter B. So make sure make sure this and make sure this uh, correct answer ay kaagad nyong shade sa answer sheet to make sure that is the correct shading in the uh, answer sheet during the board exams so from now on this is the complete solution for this problem so Thank you guys for, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more update and more solution. To, uh, thank you so much.